Hey there, this is Angie M. Um, if you follow me and you follow me closely, you will note that I did not post a planner play last week and I also missed post posting a video today. <sighs> Stuff has just been, it's been typical for 2020. Let's just leave it at that. So I thought I would pop on here quickly and just do a brief, really quick thing. So for those of you who know, I have been struggling with some some falling arches. I'm 38, there is a genetic component to it. I'm sure my weight doesn't help as well. I'm gonna address that in another video that's planned. The video that I had planned for today, I wanted to talk about planner sizing and show you some comparisons, but I do see that my cloth and paper cover for my HP Mini is planning on coming and I really did want to include that in the video so I could show you the difference between the cloth and paper cover that I have for my half letter and how a cover can really change the sizing of your planner. So that said, um, I did order some new shoes. I'm just gonna show you a, a picture here. So I did order these from DSW, the Rika brand. I really like and enjoy my last pair was also from them. They were running shoes. Running shoes traditionally don't have a whole lot of support at all. And I have a feeling that's because they're really intended to be more customized to the wearer. They also had holes in the bottom. I live in a part of the world where we have rain and snow and slush and all kinds of fun stuff. So that didn't really work so well for me because my socks would be wet if it rained and all that good stuff. This is not as aerated. I also ordered it in a wide and I am glad I did. So I have a pair of Pumas that I bought because my former Rikas, they were dead. They, I had been wearing them for so long, it was time that they needed to be thrown away. Anyway, the foam bottom, you know, of how they were, were starting to collapse, which doesn't offer any additional support. These actually had pretty decent inserts in them when I got them, but my needs go beyond that. So I have custom orthotic inserts that are prescription. And even though I bought the wide shoe thinking it would help, I can see where they're pushing out at the side because they're meant to, the inserts are meant to curve up and around my foot to offer the additional support and they're harder by a lot than traditional inserts that you would get at the store or that would come in shoes. So that that's a thing. But the shoes are so much more comfortable than my Pumas. The other thing about the inserts is they are much thicker. They raise my foot in the shoe. And the Pumas, while nice and while I could loosen them, they really weren't designed to accommodate that kind of an insert. The Rikas do a little bit better. And as I said, I can already feel they're much more comfortable. My husband's birthday is this week. We are excited about that. So that's going on. Kiddo's having mad separation anxiety, dropping her off at daycare, getting her to get ready and go. Emotionally, I am a wreck at this point. Let's let's just call it what it is. So I picked up some more planner stuff, including these. I wanna give a shout out to Every Minute as a Story and these little books. So the Positive Potions book, I have the jelly cover and I have one of them here. I really, really like the stickers and they didn't have just like sticker sheets. So I picked up two more without the jelly cover. And when I use them, I will slip them into the jelly cover while they sit out. I also picked up some, you won't see one of them because I have it in my bag, but I also picked up, they had three of these little journaling cards. I like to use them as bookmarks. Super cute, super inspirational, really, really liked them. I'm gonna laminate them for longevity because I plan on using them as actual bookmarks. I just wanna show you, I've used many of the stickers, but this is kind of what they look like. They're just, they're really, really cute super positive they just they make me smile so i felt like they would work well in my planner i picked up at barnes and noble some books and some sheen socks because they make me smile as well i don't know if these will fit there was no size i don't know if they're meant for like a teenager but soup's cute i'm gonna wash them i love i love pusheen and again, it just made me smile. So there are some other things. There's something else I wanted to talk about mixed in with kind of the chaos of my life right now and how things are going. Sort of received this really weird handwritten letter with a pamphlet. I'm not gonna show you this piece, it has my address on it. But just from a, like a town over, I don't know how these people got my information. I, I know it could be, and I was thinking maybe it's from somebody that we jointly know but it sort of came at a time, you know, where it just, 
like it was something that was needed. So, you know, whether, whether I'm religious or not doesn't matter. I'm more, far more spiritual, but it was sort of like the universe is watching out for me and here's a sign the universe is watching out for me. There's some other things that are going on that I could tell you are definitely, uh, hey, the universe is talking to me signs. But uh, sort of moving on and something I just wanted to touch base on. Ah, I will blank that out. So the Sephora VIB sale is, is happening. And I'm not really into it. Not not really into it at all. I, I don't know if I'll use the code online. There's only one thing I can think of that I'm going to repurchase, and it's my shampoo and conditioner. And it's habitually out of stock at Sephora. So I will probably continue to purchase from the manufacturer. I was thinking about brands that I like. Like I really like Charlotte Tilbury products. And there is a matte lipstick that I would like to purchase at some point in the future. Not right now. And Charlotte Tilbury is really good about, hey, my products are expensive, so I want to give you free stuff. Like right now, um, her, you get a quad of her special shadows from the Pillow Talk line if you order over a certain amount. And quite frankly, if you order two of her products, you're going to hit that amount kind of thing. So it, it's a little bit like, well, 15% off at Sephora or getting a product I'm going to actually use is a full-size product from a company that I like. You see where I'm going. And then something's coming up, and that is the doTERRA holiday sale. This this little drop in oil on diffuser right here, I do kind of want. I was looking at the other things, and I'm like, I could see myself ordering some of it. You know, passive diffusers, I don't know. We got holiday joy and holiday peace per usual. If you're a doTERRA user, you, you're familiar with those. I really love holiday joy, but I'm trying to use up other oils right now. Then they have the ancient oils collection which is myrrh, hyssop, and common myrtle. Do I need this? Do I, do I need these? No, I don't. I mean, I literally have a frankincense that's sitting on standby from last year. So I, I don't really need that. And then this Desert Bloom Passive Diffuser, I think I do want. And I think it might be the one thing I actually order, but then they have the Cuisine Blends. But then I remind myself, as much as I wanna use the Cuisine Blends, my husband, if I put these in food, he will not want to eat it. It's just, I have tried, I have tried, I have tried, I have had recipes, I have things that I love that I wanna eat again, that everybody else in my family looks at me and goes, no. What is that crazy stuff you put in there that tastes weird? And I'm just like, kill me now. Then we've got the Adaptogenic Hot Cocoa. I'm a hot cocoa fan, but no, no thank you. No, no, it's it's got cinnamon in it, no, no. Lemon lime drops. I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna eat them and never be able to get them again. No, just just no. Then they've got, these things are kind of calling my name on these two pages. So we have this pretty scarf with lava beads and a scented oil. This is the Kali blend. Kali is both the, the mother and the destroyer. You know, we've got orange, orange, amorous, jasmine, rose. I. I'm sure it smells nice. The tinted gloss always gets me because I always say I want a tinted gloss. But then when I saw what the color is, it's just a basic mauve color. And I'm like, I have that from NARS and I have that in a matte lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury and Pillow Talk. I don't need a doTERRA lip gloss. I just, I don't. Not to compete with other products I have and love. And then the Quintana Personal Aroma. So this is the epitome of romance in Madagascar is the inspiration, ylang ylang. If you know me, ylang ylang, to me smells like urinal cakes. Not really my jam. But it's also got gardenia, which I love, patchouli, which I love, and vetiver, which I love. So perhaps these oil, though, you know, the, the Kali personal aroma, 10 mil diffusing scarf, and this Quintana personal aroma could be right up my alley. But I have a thing for perfumes as well, and there are perfumes that I want to try. So it's kind of like, do I really want an oil? It doesn't last like a perfume fragrance. You have to reapply it. It's not like something I spray on in the morning and can still smell in the evening. You know, it's it's not it's not my Tom Ford Black Orchid. And then they have some other stuff. The Serenity Linen Mist. I did purchase those last year. I still have one left. My husband doesn't get excited about this stuff. My, my daughter loves it. She thinks it's fun, but she's two. She thinks anything I do is fun at this point. The bar is really low when you have a two-year-old for things that are interesting. 
I thought I would use it much more. I was kind of sad it wasn't going to be an all year an all year product. Do I need do I need a linen spray? Do I need a linen spray? Like I need a hole in the head. I can make my own linen spray with the drawer of oils that I have behind me. And then they have the adaptive calming mist. Again, is it going to be permanent? Because if it's not, I don't want it. I don't want something I'm going to fall in love with potentially and can't get my hands on again. And my husband hates the smell of adaptive. And when I say hates, I mean like if he walks into the room and I'm diffusing adaptive, he will like walk out gagging. He hates it. So I can't even, I can't even use it. I can use it in my own personal workspace. Which, yeah, I'm in all day, five days a week, and then sometimes on the weekends. But no, just, just silliness. And then a bath oil. I don't need a bath oil. I don't take baths. What am I going to do? Put it in my daughter's bath? Her skin gets irritated as it is with almost anything that touches it. So, no, it's just, it's, it's the kind of product that my gut reaction is, ooh, I want it. But in reality, I don't need it and I don't really want it. There is a hype around a lot of these products. There is a, you can only get it right now that makes you want to get it right now. And you might never be able to get it again. And knee-jerk reaction for a lot of people is, I need to get it right now, right? It's kind of like limited edition stuff. I need it. I need it because it's going to go away and it's never going to come back. How many products either are then out for years or come back repeatedly? Becca, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at Champagne Pop coming back. Which I'm glad about because my Champagne Pop did break. <laughs> and it is, honestly, it is actually my favorite highlighter. And I do need to repurchase it at some point along with my Flower Child blush, which Becca has brought back. So see, there are, th there are things that you make fun of but you fall in love with them. And if I could never get it again, I'd be really sad. Just trying, what else? So most of these, unless they state otherwise, are coming out November 1st. So the tinted lip gloss is December 1st, but it looks like the personal fragrances are November 1st. Just looking to see if there's anything I talked about that notes differently. Yeah, so it looks like November 1st for the diffuser and for those cuisine blend, which again, I, I, would, I, would love, I would love to use, but no one else in my house wants. So, so that is, I mean, that's in a nutshell. I just feel like right now, this time of year, we get bombarded with things we want and I should probably drop a picture of something that I want and missed out on. So the Maya handbag, you can see the chocolate one they're saddle colored behind me. It's $258 if you buy it without any kind of sale. So I wanted it in black as well. I really like the saddle, but it shows it shows stains from jeans and things like that. So I was waiting for good sale and I was like, it's like Black Friday. Fossil has tremendous sales around Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Well, that just went on sale. Not the regular size one, the large one. What I have and want. The large one and black one on sale. $201. They're sale items you could take an additional 40% off of. Guess what is sold out on their website? Guess what will probably come back next year at the beginning of the year and restock? Not for sale. Not on sale. Or will never come back at all. And granted, um, Poshmark is a great place to find that kind of stuff. But it makes me really angry because I was waiting for the sale. I was literally on their website when I saw the sale was happening. And I looked and did not see that damn handbag on sale. Didn't see it on sale. So what it probably means is before that 40% off happened, they had probably dropped the price and whatever limited stock was left probably sold out is what happened. I'm mad because it is the perfect bag. There, there are two slip pockets inside and there's a zip pocket for your phone on the outside but there's nothing in it. It's just this giant bag that fits everything. Just, oh, and I wanted it in black. I wanted it in black. That's all I wanted. I was going to tell my husband that I got a great deal on the Christmas present he was getting me and I was going to get it in November. Finding my husband a present for his birthday was difficult. I like to get presents that mean things and that are important and have whether it's sentimental value and I kind of thought I had an idea of what I wanted to get him maybe something with our daughter's birthstone but he, 
He doesn't really wear jewelry. For a long time, he wore a necklace that I got him. You know, a dude, a dude's necklace. And I was like, maybe I can get him something, you know, that hides under his shirt. And I just, I couldn't find anything that I felt like I liked. And then I finally found something that I think he's going to enjoy. I hope he enjoys. I hope he enjoys. Because as soon as I saw it, I was like, I think he's going to like this. So, yeah. I like gift giving, but I like it, again, I like it to mean things. And I just feel like this year has been... This has been a hard year and we've been going through a lot of changes and my daughter's been going through a lot of changes at her daycare. We had a whole debacle with that today. There are some, there are just, just some things and some more things. And then we were like, okay, well, we don't know exactly what's going on. And I was reaching out to who used to be her teacher, who I think, I think her, teacher's, her teacher has changed at where she is now. And I was like, you know, we're seeing a lot of problems at home, not in terms of behavior, but in terms of not wanting to go. And I'm just trying to figure out what's going on at school. And, you know, hey, are you seeing trouble spots? Because we're trying to make this better and it's not working. And we were going to tour another daycare today in our area, just because again, there have been a lot of changes and we're trying to explore options because it shouldn't take almost two hours to get her up and dressed and out the door into daycare and then for me to be able to leave to come home and start my work day. Like we're at a point where like we have to figure something out better. So we were like, okay, well let's just see what our options are. So we get to the place we were gonna check out and they apparently had an active COVID case and were closed and forgot to tell the people who were there to tour, which I was not in a very good mood after that. My husband was not in a very good mood. It, it just, it's like you're looking for all of these signs and you kind of feel like the signs add up to one thing and then they add up to something else and then it's like I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm tapping out and I'm trying to start a workout routine I didn't part of the reason I didn't do the planner play is I just by the end of last week things started getting busy things I needed to start you know being able to put my planner got busy the the HP mini just the layout stopped working I did kind of find a daily that I'm going to try. I've never really been a daily fan, but I saw these that actually accommodate more of my early morning schedule. They don't start at 5 a.m., but that's, I mean, that's fine. And in theory, I could, I could probably actually white out the times on my, on my computer and actually start at 5 a.m. and just have it run to 10 at night instead of 11, which would be fine. But just trying to sort those out and some things that we need to get done. One of our, our, our kitty is starting to have some some health issues. We're getting her in, but we're just we're seeing some things that are very reminiscent of something we just went through that was really hard at the beginning of this year. So, so it's been a time, and I I wanted to address the elephant in the room. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this edited enough tonight. Probably not. I just feel like that's never happening quite the way I want it anymore. I'm tired. I'm tired. I was so exhausted when the kiddo went to bed last night that I tried to watch something on YouTube and basically just conked out. You know, and it is, it is what it is and I'm trying to honor what I need, but the house is a disaster and there are things I need to do and things I need to get to and I needed to film three videos over the weekend and on Saturday when she napped I had errands to run and by the time I got home and I was only gone for an hour. Like I looked at the clock when I left, I looked at it when I got home, maybe an hour and 20 minutes, she was up from her nap. And this is a kid who takes two to three hour naps. So she was up and then Sunday she refused to take a nap at all and was basically in her room for two hours, not throwing a fit, not doing anything wrong, she's in her bed playing. We have a video monitor and we I was looking I was looking at that. So I you know, and finally it was just like I went to the I went to the store and she was still awake and usually by the time I get into the store I'll get I'll get the notification she's asleep. My husband was home with her. Got home, nope, nothing, checking, nope, still awake, still playing, and finally went up and got her and it was just like I gotta cut this off or she's gonna be in here for three hours playing in her bed. So it's it's rough. It's rough. It's rough. Uh, parents, people who jobs, side hustles, all that other good stuff. Let me know how you're faring. I just feel like the deeper we get into this year, the harder the harder things get, and I think the wheels are falling off. So, <laughs> I and I don't think I'm alone on that. I, th I think a lot of us are starting to feel that that way, and I think self care is a huge is a huge thing, is a huge thing, and so is mental care. So. 
we are going to try to segue back to that way. I, you know, I wanted to do a get ready with me with makeup, but it, it just wasn't happening. I am wearing makeup today. I'll zoom in a little bit. I am wearing my favorite Charlotte Tilbury palette on my eyes, which I really love. It it looks fabulous. I have a backup because I did get the backup for free. I placed an order specifically to get the backup for free because I have a feeling it is going to be disappearing from their site. It's the Charlotte Darling Easy Eyes Palette. If you are a warm tone person, it's warm tone, but it's not so warm tone that you feel like it's overpowering and it is just gorgeous. I love, I love wearing it. I feel like it could be a perfect everyday palette for me. It makes me really sad that it's a limited edition. She also did just come out with, with a matte in the same, in the same style and size of palette that I kind of want. Uh, part of the reason you haven't seen Get Ready With Me's or a lot of more beauty videos, even though that's kind of where I started out at on this channel, is because I really haven't been motivated. My eyes have been super irritated lately. I just I haven't been inspired to play with makeup or to wear makeup. If I put makeup on like I did today, I'm just doing it very basic, very much. This this is the stuff I love, so it's what I'm using. And that's really where I'm at at this point in my life. It's, it's just not a big thing right now. And it's not that I stopped loving makeup. I see things that I loved. It's just, I don't want to accumulate a bunch of stuff I'm never going to use. I feel like I sort of got stuck in that hamster wheel a while ago. And you, I'm trying to think at the beginning of the year if I did a declutter where I showed, where I showed the bulk of what I had or if stuff had already been, if I had already cleaned stuff out by the time I started actively in this channel. And I think I might have already cleaned stuff out. But there was a while where I felt like I was just accumulating and accumulating and accumulating. And you can see it in my blush collection where I have way more than I need or I'm ever going to get through before it goes bad. And powders are good, they don't go bad as quickly as other products, but they do, they do lose, they do, they do lose their performance. That, that is how they go bad, they lose their performance. So that is what I'm working on, and I wanna keep working on stuff. My, my, um, my Adept Singles, I think I picked up a lot of those around November last year. I think I picked up a lot of those in the Black Friday sale, so, I'm still trying to use those and I love them, but they get completely sidelined by trying to use the other palettes that I have and the smaller palettes that I have, which is a problem. And I'm trying to get back to it. I might go back to using my smaller palette to do the singles that, that I like and that get neglected. But quite frankly, a lot of those singles that are from other palettes, I'm kind of like, those could actually go and I probably wouldn't even miss them because I don't use them anymore. So outside of the adept shadows that I love and do want to use, but I never get to, it, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe that will be 2021. Maybe 2021 we will revisit the how we're using makeup plan. And the other thing is I feel like there are products that I love that were limited edition that I want to use and I do use a lot in my daily life. But how do you feature something on your channel that other people can't get. And I don't have dupes because I don't go out searching for dupes. Like I don't go out looking for drugstore dupes. I like what I like and I buy what I like. So I, it's not like I can say, hey, look, this product is great. I mean, I can go to Temptalia and see if maybe she's got some dupes and recommend from there, you know, and give her credit for that because she's done that work and she's a great resource if you're looking for dupes. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just be like, look, if you got this, we're gonna use it. <laughs> we're gonna keep using it. If you don't got this, here are some dupes. I like that. I think that's where it's gonna go. I'm gonna cut this off. Uh, again, just stuff, life, adulting. It's all, it's all kind of normal at this point. I will catch you guys in the next one. I hope to see you later this week. I had a video that I had recorded and then didn't like and then wanted to re-record. So hopefully I'll get to that for Wednesday and hopefully at some point the cloth and paper cover will come in and then I will do some comparisons between the A5, the half letter and the HP mini. So I will catch you guys in the next one.